There we go. Oh. That's a nice spec. Nice spec. Uh, maybe 15. He hit it. He hit it with authority. Bring it in. 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 Hey. Oh man, these coastal corks are money. Coastal corks. That's that. That's that. Let's see. It might be short. Yeah, 14. Little guy. Let's see. There we go. Another one. That feels about the same. The other one was like 14. 14 and a half. This one might be a little bigger. Not a whole lot bigger. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Nice and thick guy. Did I get it? Ugh. Oh yeah, this is a nice one. Still green. Let's see, he's at 17 and a quarter. There you go. Nice little guy. The surf is clean. There is a lot of bait in the water. And I'm fishing with a cork with live shrimp underneath it. For me, there's really a couple different corks that I do like to fish with. I fish like to I like to fish with one of three. Um, I like to, on this particular day I'm using a coastal cork. I really like coastal cork. It has a very nice knocking sound to it, nice big beads, nice weight that you can cast a long distance. Coastal corks I typically use with live bait. Also will use a four horseman cork. Great to use with artificials. And Woody Corks, Philip Tapper Company makes several different style of corks. This one it has a a wire leader or has a this one it has a titanium wire going through it and this is their shrimp cork and I will throw this with shrimp uh, light bait as well and uh, they also make uh, different variations that I like to use with artificials now when I am looking and selecting a cork I look for like this one has a very large weight you can cast a very nice distance also look for nice big beads sometimes it's it's too sometimes the corks are too loud so you might want to go with smaller beads but um yeah that's typically what i like i like using a lot loud beads a lot of disturbance or some rattle on the water and i typically go with three to two to three foot floral leader line uh, i will go with 30 i'd also go with 20 depends on how clean the water is i will use a split shot you can also use a bead but i like using a split shot about a foot away from the actual hook and that's going to help slow it's going to help you when you cast so your your line doesn't wrap up uh around itself and it also helps keeps that keep that bait down just a little bit and i know fish shrimp like to pop and try to keep away from the predator fish so it helps bring that down as well and on this particular day i'm using a kale hook i'm kind of experimenting a little bit with the hooks Kill hook one to three size. Um, this day I'm using a two size. So, you know, and it just it just depends. It depends on your leader line. The length of your leader line depends on where the fish are, and the water calm depends on how deep the water is. On uh, this particular day, I'm using probably about a two and a half foot leader line. We're casting out a little bit, and it's uh, I want to say it's anywhere from six to eight feet. So, I am seeing some disturbance on the top water. To, uh, predator fish that is driving through that bait so i'm trying to draw them in with the sound and the cork and the pop that's why you see me popping a lot in the video and that's going to bring them in hone them into our bait i'm going to send this guy back out so i get it two two shrimp two, two specs so i get three for three let's see you know, fish are always moving waves. They'll come in, they'll go, they'll move, they'll go, they'll come, they'll go. So now it seems like they might be back in the area again. There he goes. Yep, there he goes. He's on. He's back on again. 
We're back in. Another nice one. Ugh. For a way to bring it up. Oh, that's a real nice one, too. Come here. There we go. Another nice big one. That's where he's going to be at. 16 and a half. There we go. There we go. That's a better one. That feels like a better one. This one looks like a keeper. Yep, just at 16. Kinda got a slot. Just at 16 or 16 incher. There we go. As soon as it hit the water. Oh. Every... I seen it. Yep. First There it goes. <laughs> there we go, baby. There we go. Fish on. Let's go. Let's go. That's a nice trout. I like a good trout. Woo, pulling nice too. Yeah. It might be a little Spanish, but I'm not going to say that yet. Swimming at me. Swimming at me. Swimming at me. Swimming at me. There he goes. Oh, no, it's a pompano. We're gonna look this guy up. There he is, man. Put that thing on that screen. There's a good pompano right there. Let's see where he's at. Where he measures. He don't want to be touched. He doesn't want to be touched. He's 12 inches to the. 12 inches to the uh, we'll grab him, yeah. to the fort. 12 right. inches to the fort. Well, thanks for watching. You know, don't forget we do have a Patreon page. So if you're looking, you're like, hey man, what day were you fishing on? When were you guys out there? What are the water conditions like? Hey, what do you, what do you predict about this week coming up? What is the surf looking like? What are where are you gonna be at? You know, those kind of questions that people often ask me are they want to meet up and they want to hook up and they want to fish together. Uh, I do open invites, I do fishing reports, I do fishing forecasts, I do deleted scenes. And this kind of this was actually like deleted scenes that I wasn't an add-on 
just for my Patreons, but I thought I would share it with everybody. I figured there was enough catches in there and enough footage for an additional video. That's kind of why I released it to YouTube instead of just saving that as uh, private for my Patreon. So I just wanted to share with you guys. But that's the kind of stuff that you, you're you going to see is additional footage like, like that particular day. Um, I've really released the footage from that day, so I did additional uh, video releasing additional deleted scenes. I guess you you can say that they are, and uh, I wanted to share with you guys. And but that's kind of the stuff that you get on Patreon. That's what I give to my Patreons, and uh, and along with open invites and fishing forecasts and fishing reports, like I just said. So that's something you're interested in. The description section of this video, there is a link. That will take you out there as well as the different corks and the, what I'm using, what I'm using in this video, um, my setups and uh, all that good stuff, what I'm filming, what I'm recording with, all of that stuff is in the description section. So I hope to see you back again. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. It helps the channel, it helps the video out tremendously as well as commenting and sharing and giving a thumbs up. You know, if there's something that you prefer, hey, man, I don't prefer fishing with a kill hook. I like to use a treble hook. Uh, maybe you have a different reason why you like to use a treble hook instead of the kill hook. Uh, I know a lot of people fancy circle hooks, but if that's something that you like, well, share it with me. Share it with the viewers and the other subscribers. And, um, you know, I mean, knowledge is key, you know, so... I don't pretend I know everything. I'm learning as I'm going. And sometimes I think I know something. And then I'm like, uh, no, I don't really know that at all. I, uh, there, you know, you might be challenged or tested in different ways where, where you think you know something kind of just goes out the window. But hey, guys, thanks again. I hope to see you all back very soon. Until next time, I hope you catch me hooking up. Thanks.